Hey, Kyron, how you feeling right now? Nice to meet you. I'm super excited. It's nice to meet you too. I can't even explain like how I'm feeling right now. This is literally a dream come true. You know, starting in St. Louis, you know, the Rams being there and now they're in LA just being with the program and the Rams is it's a dream come true. You can never imagine it here now. Can you take us through sort of what this day has been like for you leading up to that phone call? Take us in the call and then you have issues with family friends around you. What what's that been like as well? So we will meet everybody, my friends, uh Football, my former football players, you know, my friends from St. Louis, my families, everybody's here. You know, we woke up, wake up this morning expecting, you know, okay, we're, the call might come early. We're going to get the day started early with a, you know, a good a good call, a good phone call. But, you know, you know, it got those long days, got some more shit. Then, you know, just time kept ticking. You know, there's no call, call, you know, a lot of back and forth. But eventually the Rams, you guys called and, you know, we were answering blessings. You know, it's just, I just couldn't imagine being, like I said, being in a better place than, you know, Los Angeles. Plus, so, so what's your history with the Rams? Uh, were you a fan growing up? Were you a Steven Jackson guy? Were you a Marshall Falk guy? I was at every home game on Sunday. Um, thanks to my coach, uh, Coach Folk, he had season tickets. So we were at we were at every game. Huge Steven Jackson fan, dressed up as him as Hall on Halloween. The whole red, whole uniform, everything. So you know, I just I grew up in the Edward Jones watching the Rams. So I was, like I say, it's just so crazy how things just circle around. You know, God's plan and everything. What uh, what do you think you bring uh, to the Rams? I bring a well. First of all, I think you bring a type of leadership. You know, that everybody is you know that can uh, account to and hold, that can um, accept. You know, I'm bringing leadership. That, you know, motivates people to push themselves to be better every day, but also bring on the field uh, like a diverse versatility as a running back, being able to be a complete run out the backfield, catch passes, run the inside, outside of the tackles, and also line up in the slot. I feel like this is my game as a, as a overall just will uh, complement the offense. You know? allow us uh, as a team to, you know, wing, you know, just be able to uh, produce as offense. Kyron, as, as you've developed in your high, in your football career from high school and now being drafted into the NFL, can you share how you've always been working to uh, yeah. get to this point? There's really nothing else that I know. Like, even for, even to get to know, I had to work everything. I had to get everything, get my all. So, like, that's all I, every time I had to be successful for something, I've always worked for it. So, like, I, nothing's going to change once that I'm now here. Um, with the always just getting it's always under me to myself and to get better because that's like I said that's all I know that's um something that's always been um you know different over a lot of people are um work ethic I do. Kyron, did you say you remained a Rams fan after they came back to LA? A lot of people in a town don't when the team leaves. You know, I, I had there was no hate loss. You know, there was always still love there because like I said, like I grew up a Rams fan, I grew up a Stephen Jackson fan. So like I'm an OG or but you know at the same it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just <laughs> <laughs> hey Kyron, uh the coaching staff seemed especially excited about your work at in Pass Pro and the way you sort of fearlessly pick up blitzes and whatnot. That being so important to you coming in and immediately competing for a role in the NFL. What is it technically about that that you have worked on and sort of are eager to demonstrate specifically in that phase? I think the biggest thing, like just as a running back in general in past pro is having a mindset. Like you can't have a mindset of, you know, being shy or timid. Like you got to be able to deliver the blow first to the linebacker. And that's always something I've always been taught, you know, growing up. Uh, my dad always made me play linebacker on his defense. So like I had no option but to go stick, uh, go hit some people. You know, I've always had that defensive mentality as pro that I'm going to hit you you hit me so um doing things like that is just always just gonna help keep the mindset of where i'm going and where I need to be. there's a lot of uncertainty in this draft process but oh, aside from the fact that it's the rams a team that you love what's it mean to go to the super bowl champions to go to a coach like sean mcveigh who's made stars out of so many so many offensive skill players it means everything it means like, i'm going to the, the greatest like the, the best coaching staff in the league right now and that always to me, that's just going to benefit me the most because I'm a type of person that absorb everything and, you know, visualize and see what, what coach wants, and he's the best to do it. So I can run away. That's the type of thing. That, that's the type of person I like that. Like, I have no other option. I love that. The best. I want to be with the best because I, you know, I see myself as the best. And I see myself one day at the end of my career being one of the best running backs, you know, to play the game. Like, that's the mentality that I have, the mindset that I have. Coming to a team like the Rams and having one of the best coaching staff 
that was a no brainer. This is what I need. This is where I need to be. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, we're in, we're in uh, Las Vegas right now. The family out here, so probably we got to definitely get out the house. We've been in the house for two, three days. You know, just sitting on. The- <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go. To we're going to this trip. We're going. To- <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's exciting over here. <laughs> 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 hey, Tyler, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for, Congratulations. Thanks for the time. Nice meeting you. Yeah, soon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>